So here I am again, and this is a requested video that was requested um, from one of my subscribers, and it was about like you know the shampoos I use, the leave-ins, conditioners, well deep conditioners, etc., etc. I've been supposed to do this video. It was requested a while ago, and I'm sorry I'm just now getting to it, but here I am, and I may be all over the place. I tried to write things down. But um, evidently, I recorded this before, but I didn't like the way I recorded it. And I wrote some things down because you guys know I use an array of products. And um, I use a lot of things on rotations. So I'm just going to say what I use regularly and what I, you know, like to use or what have you. And I'll be doing another video, which was also requested, of, like my favorites. So um, that will be, you know, that'll probably be a part one and part two video because that'll, I'll also be talking about my staples and things of that nature. So this video just what I'm using I guess right now so hopefully this is helpful help I'm sorry helpful to my subscriber that has asked me to do you know that has requested this video so here we go hopefully I don't mess up like last time I recorded but I didn't put it up <laughs> okay so for shampoos now um, I'm going to also try to show you the products as I go on if they're on hand if not then I'll just mention them and that's basically it okay so right now for the shampoo that I use twice a month I only shampoo my hair twice a month is the cream and cocoa I think it's called the raspberry rice pudding shampoo bar if I'm mixing it up I'll definitely put the name at the bottom but you guys know I always use this I love the shampoo bar and this is like the only like I'm not saying it's the only shampoo I use but it's not a clarifying shampoo All Although it does have apple cider vinegar in here, but it still does not strip my hair or anything like that. So this is just, this is a nice, you know, cleansing shampoo that does not, you know, contain any harsh ingredients and things of that nature. So this is a natural shampoo bar. So, um, it's another shampoo that I'm going to show you that I do use. So I had it yesterday. It was the, um, I'm sorry, it was the, the Eden Body Works All Natural, um, shampoo. And it has, it has a chelator in it. So I, I use that to really cleanse my hair. So it's a really good shampoo. I really like it a lot and I have used it, a, you know, a lot of times. So I really like it. So that shampoo was um, in my, was featured in the video that I did um, with my sister's hair when I showed you guys how I, you know, deep condition and style my sister's hair. So if you guys want to go check that out. So yeah, so that's the Eden Body Works one. That's the shampoo. So I only use that like to really cleanse my hair probably once out the month or something like that. Nothing drastic, just once. Um, okay, my conditioners, um, Pharaoh of all time, sorry to turn around, but it's back here, is my Bass Cacao Bark, and I'm definitely going to do a video of, like, my top 10 or top 25 conditioner, deep conditioners, and this is number one. <laughs> But I love this stuff, and um, I use this once a month. It's nice and chocolatey. I don't want to show you guys, but um, because it has hair in it. So, but yeah, this is my deep conditioner I use once a month. And another deep conditioner that I use is the Camille Rose, the Algae Renew deep conditioner. I use this, and I like using this. This smells like cake mix. I love it. Yes. And um, I use this. I have done reviews on both of these items on the basque and also on this and i've done demos on them so you can please go check them out if you want me to link them below i think i'll just link them below so check the description bar every now and again because sometimes i forget and sometimes i be getting lazy and don't put it or what have you so just remind me if you guys want to see it okay if you haven't seen it already okay so now those are the condition oh crece pelo um i is hold on I was not prepared for this video. The Crece Pelo, you guys know that I've done a review on this. If you have not seen it, please go check it out. And I've done a demo on this as well. So you guys go check it out. All right. And um, my KBB, the Carol, Karen's Body Beautiful. I also did a review on this and a demo. So go check it out. Um, and my purification mask, I have it up there. I, I've done a demo on it, but this, I did it on my transitioning hair, so that was a long time ago when I did that. So I still do use it, and I also use it, you know, for 15 minutes in between my DC and my, like, when I wash my hair. On my recent video, I forgot which video, I think it was my 
co-wash day or I forgot which video it was I'll link it below and where I tell you when I used it I used it for 15 minutes you know after I think I shampoo or co-wash I forgot which one don't quote me and um, that's how I use it sometimes I sometimes I use it as a deep conditioner or just for 15 minutes or what have you because I always use another deep conditioner after I like to use it as like a, a cleansing agent because it's really good and I like it a lot so I that's those those are my those are, those are my deep conditioners that I like really have been using um, frequently in rotation. Um, my leave-ins are my Karen Body Beautiful. I love this stuff. Oh my goodness! I always wanted to get it before when I had my the curl kit. It was in the curl kit. It was in a two ounce two ounce bottle. I'm sorry, the Sweet Ambrosia leave-in. And I was gonna get it before, but Karen's Body Beautiful is kind of pricey, so I was like, maybe it'll come in a curl kit. So let me just wait. And it did. So it got, came in a curl kit last month. And I went to Target to go buy this, and this is an 8.5 ounce, and it's the Pomegranate Guava Sweet Ambrosia leave-in conditioner I am going to target I was supposed to go today if I don't make it today I'll go tomorrow and pick up like two more of these because this is I love this stuff this is like gold to me like it really really like detangles my hair it leaves my hair looking my hair looks shiny I like it like I really like it a lot so that's that's number one leave-in my other leave-in is the Karen's, uh, I'm sorry, oh lord, cool, I'm sorry, Caused by Nature um, Moisturizing Shea Aloe Leave-In Conditioner. I love this, this is a good detangler as well. I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. I have to order some because it's probably right here. So I definitely have to order some more because um, I use this from time to time in rotation as well. But I've been using the KBB more often, so. Uh, <laughs> um, and that's it for the leave-ins. Um, I think uh, that's that's what I've been using for the leave-ins um, recent recently okay so the refreshers um right here I have the amazing botanicals this was also in the curl kit last month I use this I like it a lot it's, it's good it's refreshing I use this at night or in the morning before I take my twist out or after I take my twist out and I'm um, at night when I finish twisting up I spray this on and I also have the allocate naturals um, the Allocate Naturals, the label is gone, I'm sorry, but this is what it is, and I use this a lot. So, um, I ordered some more because I like this a lot. This was also in the curl kit, um, not last month, but I think the month before last, I'm not sure, so don't quote me, but yeah. So, those are my refreshers, and also my tea with uh, mixed with vitamin E oil. I haven't used it in a few weeks, but that's another refresher that I use, and water. And also my Evo and water, it looks, it's separated, gotta shake it up. And yeah, this is kind of like this is kind of like my refresher, glosser, shine topper, or what have you. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, and my moisturizers are the Cantu Shea Butter Le um, for creamy hair lotion. Um, creamy <laughs> for natural hair, creamy hair lotion. I'm sorry. This is it, and it's all the way down here. I have like four other bottles, so in the back up there. I love this stuff, so I use this when I'm like, you know, before I take my twist out sometime in the morning or at night or whenever I feel that I need to use it, okay? Um, another moisturizer that I use is the, hmm, I'm sorry. I use the Desert Essence Coconut Soft Curls Hair Cream and the Coconut Shine and Refined Hair Lotion. I use this a lot. I like using this. It says only use a dime size. Sometimes I use two dime sizes. So you guys know I'm heavy handed with products, but I love these products. These are very, very cool. And I use these from time to time in rotation with the other products. Um, I also use the BB Happy Nappy Styles by Blended Beauty. Sorry if I keep turning around. This is what it is. This smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I love this smell. I use this every time after I... I'm sorry if you saw hair. I use this every time I, you know, wash or co-wash. I thought I could wash or co-wash my hair. And I use this for the lock method. Ugh. Yes, okay. It definitely, definitely serves the purpose as a moisturizer. And this came in my curl collection box, so I have a video on that. I have not done a review on this yet, so or on these products either. So um yeah, but they're pretty good products. I'll definitely I'll do a reviews on these soon. Okay. And um and water. Water is a my moisturizer as well, so that's free and you know what water looks like. Okay. <laughs> So, um, the oils, you know, you guys know I love my jojoba oil, here we go, right here, I love this, this is like my second or third bottle, um, I also like the peppermint tea, um, peppermint tea tree by Eden Body Works, there's only a little bit in here, I use this most of the time after I co-wash, oh, I'm sorry. 
after I wash or co-wash my hair or whenever I feel the need that my scalp is itchy or I need like a refresher or not a refresher but something to like soothe my scalp if it's like irritated or something like that or just because I like to use this okay um I use castor oil mixed with other oils like Lang Lang and um, lavender oil, rosemary oil. I don't know the, all the stuff, but I definitely um, use that mix for my nape and my edges area. Um, and what else? Oh, and vitamin E oil, um, peppermint oil, castor oil, and almond oil. The my Brahmi oil that I use that I use for the hot oil treatment. Evo, EVCO, extra virgin olive oil, and um, extra virgin coconut oil. Oh. I use this and I'll use this brand I think this is my second jar so yeah this really lasts a long time and as you can see because it's a little warm it's not um, sil solid I'm sorry so I use that for my hot oil treatment along with my Evo and my Brahmi oil and I don't mix all of them together I just mix the Evo and the EVCO together because that's what I would use it for my hot oil treatment first in the beginning and then I introduced Brahmi oil to the mixture but I didn't want to mix them together so I put the Brahmi oil on there first and then I put the mixture to get um, the mixture of the Evo and EVCO together and I mentioned that in my other video that I did for the Darcy's Botanicals I think yeah okay um and let's see butters my shea butter mix I use that to seal my ends and um or put on yeah just basically the seal my ends. Healthy hair butter I don't really use it as often as I've been using it but um I've been you know playing with other puddings and butters to see what works you know what alternatives I can fall back on or you know and, and my castor oil is I'm not castor my um Carol's daughter healthy hair butter is always gonna be my old faithful my holy grail you know if nothing else works or you know if something fails or if something stops working I know I can always go back to my carol's daughter healthy hair butter so i'm not throwing it out the window as of yet it's still there it's just that i've been using other things and um, my shea butter mix i haven't used it as often as i should but i should because i made it and i took time to make it and i made a video so i was like <laughs> okay my sealers and my shea butter mix i use it sometimes um naturalista that was in the curl kit and um oyen burnt sugar pomade sometimes i haven't used it in a while so yeah and the my honey child sophia's old-fashioned hair grease i use this uh, let me do a close-up because you guys um i did a haul on this um a while ago if you guys want to go check that video out i think it was called the my my honey child um haul mixed with other things i forgot but yeah so those are my um sealers and also my sweet carla i think that's what it's called by tasty by tasty red bone um i be i seal my ends with that as well too um my stylers are the wonder curls um butter than love pudding this was in the curl kit um i don't know if it was last month or month before last don't quote me but i love this stuff i really do and i ordered the bigger um size i believe just the eight ounce because i think this is this is two ounce so i think they have four ounce and eight ounce or bigger or what have you but i ordered it and yeah and they had the other one which is called whip something or whatever like that it was sold out when i was ordering it so i just ordered the one thing it's like whatever so you know so that's what i did with that um and i'll definitely do a review on this i have not done a review on this or the honey child or the naturalista so i got a lot to do um and my um my other styler is the um Cantu shea butter for natural hair coconut curling cream i've been using that for a long time then i stopped using it because i was trying other butters out or cur creams and things of that nature and so i went back to it recently and i've been using it for the past two weeks and i love that as well so that's my stylers and that's basically it so my really deep cleansers that i really really do is the the gazool or razool however you want to say a clay um, I do that once um, every, you know, not I'm, not, I'm going to, I just did it, was it, was it last month I did it? I forgot, don't quote me, um, but that was the first time me, of me using that clay, and I will definitely um, just use it once every other month, okay, and that's what I would do for the protein treatment as well. My protein treatment is the um, Aubrey Glycogen Protein Balancing Conditioner. So that's my protein treatment right there. And I use that once every other month as well. And sorry to go back and forth, but the Razul Clay, the, I use that as my like my deep cleanser cleanser. Like deep, 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 like <laughs> deep. So um, that's it for that. And I already shared with you guys the Eden Body Works Shampoo. And um, oh, and one more thing. 
my cold washes i use the vo5 herbal escape strengthening conditioner i did a um review on this and i also did a haul and i also did a review on the tresemme naturals and um yeah so i love both of these products and i use these in rotation and um i will definitely be using another vo5 um the next time i co-wash um i think it'll be the like the tea therapy one so um i i like vo5 and the tresemme Naturals. so all of them go in rotation for my co-washing so i think that's basically it i didn't want to make this video as long as supposed to be i didn't want to make two parts oh and one more thing just the last thing and i'm out of here <laughs> uh, and oh no three more things and that's it um these are two of my stylers i love this stuff this is the curls control paste i did a review on this and this is my as i am smooth and gel i'm not sure if i did a review on this I don't know don't quote me but I definitely did a review on this but yeah so both of these together I use oh <laughs> I use these two together I love this stuff I was upside down I love this stuff together so I use these together and bam I'm done so um that's basically it for that and um I love these I love these this is like my second or third jar of both of these I don't know second at all and one more thing my argan oil I use this I, I got this from the Elma and Sana um, website and I have another one from um, Whole Foods that's up there but that smells like robotism for some reason but this smells like nothing so um, I'll, I'll do a close-up because it's mad small all right so this is the Elma and Sana um, Moroccan argan oil and I use this it has a dropper I haven't done a review on this so I definitely will do a review on it soon and I love this oil I really do so that's basically it for that so like I said before I didn't want to make this video as long as it's supposed to be but I have a lot going on as you can see because I use a lot of products and you guys know that and I'm a product junkie so I can't help it so that's basically it so thank you guys for watching and I hope this has helped my subscriber that has asked to see you know what I use and stuff like that and I'll definitely be doing another video of my favorites and that was requested as well and um that might be a part two video i'm not sure because i like to ramble so um but that's basically it so thank you guys for bearing with me with this long video and i didn't mean to make it that long again i said this like for the third or fourth time but i really appreciate you guys for watching and welcome to all my new subscribers hi and thank you to all my old subscribers thank you for watching and keep watching and if you have any questions comments or concerns please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below if you don't want to ask in the comment section below you know you can send me an inbox and i'll definitely reply back to you through the inbox or in the comment section below okay and have a wonderful wonderful blessed day blessed night whenever you're watching it bye